Today we're working with our GREEN program, and GREEN stands for Global Rivers Environmental Education Network. Forty different schools are going out today to monitor tributaries throughout the watershed. Right here, you're looking at which river? The Rouge. A watershed is basically similar to a bowl, where if anything rained on this side of the, the border, it would end up in the Rouge River. Like if it ended, it rained on this side, it would end up in the Clinton River. Everyone has goggles? Yeah. Okay, great. The one we use in the classroom, classroom he's crashed up and stuff. He probably see me like, what is that? The century's got tiny hands. <laughs> we were at the Eliza Hall Park, what time it is. This is the main branch, so we're going to go through the weather, all right? And they ask you the question, it's sunny, partly sunny. So GM's been involved with Friends of the Rouge for probably 15 years. They really try to emphasize our involvement with uh, how the Rouge River uh, affects the community. They like us to get out and work with young people and make them interested in math and science and get them interested in uh, learning about the environment and, and, and doing science as opposed to just uh, learning science in the classroom. It was Rain Monday. Rain Monday. I remember Rain Monday. What does that have to do with the river? The water might rain Monday was the day. It comes up and goes down, right? Because I told you guys to wear shoes that you didn't care that we're going to get dirty. Yeah. Right around the edges, wherever there's kind of cover okay. for insects to hide, that's where you're going to find them. They are monitoring macroinvertebrates, which are small aquatic creatures that live in the river that can tell us um, about the water quality because they live there for some of them several years at a time. Oh, there you go, right there. There's two of them right there. You get them? Yep, yep, there you go. I got both of them. A lot of research shows that that's how kids learn best, is by really be, being connected to the environment that they're learning about. And when plants break down, that has nitrogen in, in it as well. It's a really good opportunity for them to, to expand their boundaries a little bit.